So what's up, everybody? I know most of y'all haven't seen me in a long time. Uh, so <laughs> I'm making this video because, you know, it's kind of hard for me to to talk in front of people. You know, it's a lot of fears that goes on. <laughs> I guess I'm smiling right now because it's like it's kind of it's I'm kind of <laughs> nervous. Uh, <laughs> but um, you know, it's hard for me to talk in front of people. You know, the the fear of stuttering. You know, the fear of, you know, having, you know, to, to mess up, the fear of, you know, having to defend myself after I say things, you know, the fear of just having to deal with responses at all. You know, it's just it's something I just even looking at myself right now while I'm talking, <laughs> it's, it's crazy. Um, But um, so I but I want to do this video because, you know, it's, it's a fear in me that has to be removed and um. I, you know, the, the Lord gives us a spirit of power, you know, and, and love, and he doesn't give us a spirit of fear. So I I would rather walk by his spirit and put myself out there and, you know, feel uncomfortable rather than, you know, have a spirit of fear and, you know, try to shelter myself and hide, you know, and, and find false comfort. Because that's exactly what it is. It's false comfort. It's not real comfort. Um, so I'd rather, you know, live by the Lord's spirit than live by the spirit of fear. So the reason why I'm making this video is for that, but also to bring awareness to um, mental health and, uh, you know, mental disabilities that I sometimes feel like it's very difficult for Christians to really or not Christians in general, but like the multitude of Christians to really identify um, mental health problems or deal with people based off of mental health problems. So it's, it's, I feel like it's a it's a challenge for us Christians to deal with people who are um, struggling in this area. So uh, it's pretty much this video is about that. It's about awareness about that. I don't I haven't really come prepared to really, you know, have any scriptures or anything like that to read. But um, I do want to talk about my testimony of smoking. You know, I used to smoke, smoke cigarettes, used to smoke weed. And um, I just don't anymore. You know, it's, it was it's about three years ago that I stopped. And, um, you know, it was it, I bring it's another story that I talk about later on, hopefully. <clears throat> Excuse me. But um. You know, I just stopped because I wanted to, it wasn't good. You know, I was tired. You know, when I played basketball, I was easily winded. And um, I just like, you know what, this ain't for me. And also, I just wanted to to build better relationships. You know, I didn't want to have, I didn't want to be around new people and then, you know, have the smell of smoke on me or just to have to take a cigarette break. You know, and I didn't want to do that, you know, so... I was like, you know what? I'm going to quit smoking, and um, but it was hard. It was really difficult. It wasn't easy. It wasn't like, it wasn't like you know, you hear testimonies about how people who had quit smoking, like they say that the Lord has uh, has taken the taste of cigarette out of their mouth. That was never really the case for me. Um, it was more so that I knew that I wanted to stop, but that my body was still was craving. Uh, nicotine in general is it's really difficult to, to 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 fight tobacco, you know, nicotine. So, um, you know, it was a struggle for me, and you know, I, but whatever it was that I had to do, I did it. You know, I, I knew that smoke, uh, quitting smoking would have me uh, like stay up late. Or it would just have me do odd things that I just wasn't really ready to do. But I did it anyway, you know, because um, I knew that it's exactly what it took for me to stop, you know. And um, if it if it if it had me to walk out two o'clock in the morning just to have a walk to to fight the urge, I did it, you know. If it was me having headaches and tossing and turning at night, I did it, you know. But what kind of kind of kept me from or what kind of kept me on that journey was just thinking about how Christ suffered for us. You know, he suffered for us on the cross. And, you know, here I am, uh, you know, it's just a fighting the urge of not smoking a cigarette, you know. And here's Jesus who's who has done nothing wrong and was humiliated on the cross. And, 
naked and, you know, and, and scorned and all this stuff, you know, and then here I am, you know, with this measly little cigarette, like, no, <laughs> you know, it was, so it wasn't, uh, it was, but it was difficult, you know, but just thinking about the suffering of Christ really pulled me through and just knowing what, uh, like the stages of not smoking, you know, the stages kind of helped me, you know, I really, it, it, like, how should I say this? Like, to know that within four days, nicotine is out of your system. You know, I knew that, you know, so I knew that after four days, it was just a psychological battle that I really had to to really um, fight through. So, um, uh, so it's this verse that I don't, I don't really, anyway, it's this verse that says, um, you know, even, even though our, our, our physical bodies are being wasted away. Our, our spirits are being renewed day by day. And that was a scripture that kind of stuck out to me uh, during that time, because even though I felt like crap, you know, I knew that my spirit was was uh, was emulating or imitating uh, the Holy Spirit or the, the spirit of God. And um, I knew that I was I was becoming whole during that time. And, you know, I, I, and, I and because of that scripture, I think about those who are like dealing with like depression and you know, all this other mental things that's going on, like loneliness and, you know, feeling like no one cares about them. You know, these are just, these are just lies from the enemy, but our, our feelings tend to override the truth and we start to, you know, live off how we feel rather than what's true. And, um, even though we may feel depressed, we sometimes, well, we, we have to, uh, combat that with the truth, and um, but it's not to it's not to neglect feelings or to bypass feelings, but to know that uh, our feelings not our our feelings aren't always the truth, you know. And um, I hope this video would just bring awareness from that. Uh, again, you know, this is the last thing I want to do is make videos for Facebook, but um, I feel that the Lord is calling me to do that for me for my own healing, but also to bring awareness. Uh, in the Christian community and to community in general, you know, there's a it's a it's a spirit going around and it's 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 really strong and um, but the Lord's army is stronger, you know. So uh, I just you know I just hope that this video would bring some type of awareness and um, this video will be uh, a video starting my journey to be more open about who I am as a person, but also just be more open, be more vulnerable. Uh, you know, to share God's message, uh, for the world. So, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I will pray. We make it it's strong, but not long. Right. <laughs> so, um, uh, Lord Jesus, I just, uh, pray Lord. And I hope this video will, uh, encourage someone Lord. And I hope this video will, uh, just, um, encourage that person to, to step out of themselves, Lord, and draw closer to you, Lord. And just to, know what it means to be uh, uh, um, a son or daughter in you, Lord. So thank you for this. Uh, thank you for your Holy Spirit for giving me the power to make this video, Lord. And I just pray that uh, that positive feedback will, will come back, Lord, and to encourage me to do more, Lord, and um, that, uh, that uh, you are in control, Lord. So uh, let your Holy Spirit take control, and uh, thank you for this time. I pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. All right. Thanks, everybody. Uh, talk to everybody soon. Uh,